Hey everybody, so I'll admit it, I occasionally forget SQL commands, especially the joins. You have inner join, outer join, left, right. It gets all mumbled together in my head and I kind of forget what they do. So what ends up happening is I have to go to Google and then reverse engineer the results to what I'm trying to do in my data, which is time consuming and annoying. But ChatGPT solves this problem and it solves it amazingly well. In this video, I'll show you to use ChatGPT to not only produce the SQL statements using plain language, but also using ChatGPT as a database itself to test all the results. All right, this is gonna be fun. Let's jump in. So I'm over at ChatGPT, and to show you this, I'm gonna set up two separate chats. The first will be a simulation of a SQL Server database, and I'll call that one the database chat. The second will be where we generate our SQL statements using plain language. I'm gonna call that one the generator chat. So let's start with a database chat, and there's a trick to setting this one up. So if I put in the command, imagine you are Microsoft SQL Server. I type in commands, you reply with the result and no other information or descriptions, just the result. And ChatGPT re replies, understood, please type your command. And the trick is you have to use the word imagine. If you just use the word act as a database or something like that, it's gonna respond that I'm just a natural language processor, I can't be a database. So the key word here is imagine. So that's all set up and ready to go. Now let's go over and create a new chat for our generator chat. So the first thing we need to generate is a SQL command to generate a new database, and then it commands to generate some tables. And I'm gonna use an example of a database for a veterinary clinic. And I'll have two tables, one for owners and one for pets. So the first thing we gotta do is let's set up, create a SQL statement to create a new database named Vet Clinic. So this is an easy one, ChatGPT will give us a, a nice create command for this database. Next we wanna create our two tables. So we're gonna say create SQL statement to create two new tables. We'll say one's named owner and one is named pet, for our pets. And I gave them a few parameters such as we need an ID for each table, some of the data we want to have on, or about the pets and the owners, and then I told it that we want to have them connected. But it's done a great job of creating these tables and using the right data type so it knows like the birth date is a date, so it puts that in there. And it knows the IDs are integers, so it puts that correctly for you, except for the primary keys and the foreign keys. So it does a lot of the work for you. You just got, got to tell it in plain language what you want. So that's great. Now the next thing we're going to need is some sample data in those tables. And ChatGPT can actually generate good test data as well. So we're just going to ask it to create a SQL for sample data. And we want five owners and five pets. And we want one owner without a pet and one pet without an owner, just to make it a bit more interesting in our joins. And so you see it's generating really good data and it understands our tables, even though we never told it you know, that the owners are humans and the pets are animals. It, but it kind of knows that and names them correctly. Like you'll see it names like pets, like it names it Max and it knows it's a dog and Buddy. So it, Fluffy is a cat. So it understands the context of the two tables, even though we never told it anything about it. And we see it even added this uh, sixth value here for a parrot named Lonely. That's a great name for a parrot. Now let's just copy these SQL commands over to our database chat. And everything we run is just gonna come back with a simple response if it's completed successfully or if there's an error. Okay, so I created my tables and now I'm just inserting my test values. Okay, so now we're at the point where we can just do a simple select star from owners and it should give us back, we're in our database chat still, it should give us back all that sample data just so we know everything's correct in here and it looks great. Okay, so now here's where the fun really begins. So now our data is all set up correctly in our database chat. So I'm going back in the generator chat and I'm going to start just giving a plain language and asking for a SQL command. So I'm going to say create SQL to find all pets connected to an owner, return the owner's name and the pet's name. And so now to do that, it's going to have to build a join for us, but I don't have to tell it anything about join command. It does all that for us. It figures it out. It even figures out that the owner's name and the pet's name had the same column name, which is name. And so it uses the as command to differentiate between the two, which is pretty smart. So if I just copy this over to my database and paste that in. Now it should give me all the owners that have pets. So it should give me five of them. Because remember we had a pair that didn't have an owner named Lonely. So this looks like it's figured that out perfectly and the join works nicely. Okay, let's bump up the complexity a bit. Now I'm gonna say in my generator chat, create SQL to find all pets, include the owner if there is one. So now this is gonna require ChatGPT to be a bit more intelligent with his join. So let's see if it figures it out. And this is what I was talking about at the start of the video that I get confused about, like the inner join, outer join, the left, right. 
So let's figure it out that to do this, it needs a left join. So if we run that over on our database chat, it should return to me now all the pets and owners and also the lonely pair at the end with a null for the owner name, which is done perfectly. I think you get the idea. You go into the generator chat, give it plain, simple language, what you want. It generates SQL for you, which you take to the database chat, run, test, and refine. It's so powerful. So there's one other thing I want to show you that blew my mind. But first, if you're enjoying this content and you wanted to learn more about AI, ChatGPT, mid-journey for image generation, that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. And all the prompts I used in this video, I'll put in the description below so you can try them out yourself. If you find something cool, add a comment to this video. I'd love to hear from you. So this one blew my mind. So in SQL, you can have these things called store procedures, which are kind of like little pieces of code that have a series of SQL statements that you can use over and over again. So if I go into my generator chat and just put in create code for a store procedure to return the pet's birth date and age of the pet in years, given the pet's name as an input, it's going to generate for me a store procedure. And it, it gets everything right. It calculates the years. It figures out the birth date. So let me copy that over to the database chat. Okay, our store procedure's in memory. So now we can generate SQL to actually call the store procedure and pass in their old parrot named Lonely. And the store procedure works perfectly. It gives us back the birth date of Lonely and the age, an eight-year-old parrot. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.